Hey everyone, Ashley's Cosplay here. It has... It's been a while. So I'm going to actually try to keep this as brief as I possibly can, given this is actually the second time that I'm recording this, because the first time I didn't have my brand new lapel mic actually facing my mouth. Kind of a rookie mistake. The audio sounded terrible when I started editing. So we're here again. So I'm going to try to keep it short. I got notes. Let's get into it. So last year, 2023, you'll notice not many videos. We got WeebCon and Scarborough, but a dearth of con vlogs. And that is because, one, some personal issues, some mental health stuff. You know how it goes. We survived. We're here. It's fine. Two, some technical issues. Computer could not keep up. Was making the whole thing awful. Three, I just wanted a break. I wanted to just enjoy the cons I went to without having to do stuff. Like take video and then edit it. So, not a lot of uh, videos, but I'll give you a quick little rundown of what I did do, and it's, I'll, eh, I'll put like pictures or something right here, but we're gonna go quick, because I don't want to keep you here too long, because this isn't a con vlog, this is just an update. Uh, not featured in a vlog, but I went to Waifu Expo in March. It is now called Kimochi Con, which is more uh, gender inclusive, which is nice. I volunteered for it. It was a blast. Would do again. Will do again. WowCon Beyond, I actually got the guest at that. That was great. Sad I did not vlog for it, but I had a booth and I had uh, two panels, which were... <laughs> which had like two people in attendance for each. Don't worry about it. It's fine. For one of those, it was my mom and it's my sister-in-law. Don't worry about it. It was still a good time. Uh, then we have WeebCon. I'm not going to watch the video. We have a video for that. Do that. July went to DreamCon in Austin and volunteered with uh, Gimme More Cosplay, who was super great. And I helped with the cosplay repair booth as well as the cosplay contest. Vid uh, pictures, there you go. All right, cool. Moving on. Uh, August, KO Plus Con, very small local con. Uh, it's at the Asia Times Square. Somehow managed to weasel my way into becoming a handler for two of the Horimiya VAs. So thank you so much to Celeste Perez, voice of Sakura and Marissa Duran, voice of Hori, for letting me chill at their booth and just chat with him. They were very sweet. Following that, September, went to Y2Con. Again, another tiny con. I'm, I'm, we're supporting the small local cons. Let's go. And I got to meet the amazing Michaela Jill Murphy, voice of Toph, and Greg Baldwin, voice of Uncle Iroh, both from Avatar the Last Airbender. I threw together a very quick Melon Lord cosplay for it. Uh? And not only that, but me and Panda Blossom got to compete and we got first and third respectively. Let's go. Granted, there was only five entries, but don't worry about that. And then lastly, to wrap up 2023 in December, went to what is becoming my favorite con in the area, Anime Frontier. Uh, this year, a little bit of a change. I actually got to help Mora help run its first ever cosplay repair booth. That's right. Cosplayers, you can go to the vendor hall and you can get your stuff fixed. We had hot glue, we had sewing, we had Sharpies and all types of glue and tape and everything to make sure that you're put together. And so we had a big, like, I think it was like a 10 by 20 booth. And we got to help with that. I had an amazing crack team at my disposal. They were wonderful. I tried to bring them donuts to pay them and everything. We all got exhibitor badges. Um, the con itself, Anime Frontier, the staff were really great. And they supplied us with all the supplies. It was phenomenal. Um, and they've actually, spoiler alert, have asked us back. So we will be returning this year, December 2024, for Anime Frontier Repair Booth. Great. Also, a little thing. <sighs> I should probably remember to breathe every once in a while. When I wasn't doing repair booth duties, I managed to weasel my way into the cosplay contest as a stagehand, as well as just a general assistant. Um, had a lot of fun doing it. I got to help usher each contestant onto the stage before rehear during rehearsal and during the contest itself. And watching contests from backstage, it's a great spot wonderful view and katie and alex who are the runners for the anime frontier cosplay contest phenomenal people love them both dearly um so 
let's segue into 2024. So 2024, uh, I already attended WowCon Beyond, which was last week. It is now March 31st. Happy Easter to those who celebrate. Uh, but that was just a one day con, very tiny, uh, very intimate, you know. Um, I made like all these buttons. They had a button maker and I just made a bunch. So that was fun for free. So that just happened. As far as upcoming cons for 2024, you can look forward to a con vlog from me for Nishi Fest next month in April. I actually, as of 12 hours ago, just got accepted as staff or I guess contractor. I applied for like programming and guest relations sort of thing. So my hope is when I applied, I basically was like, hey, can I help with the contest? And then also I'm totally fine with helping via like a handler for cosplayers, like for the cosplay guests. Like, okay, yes, cool, dope. Looking forward to that and it's paid. I'm gonna get paid to do something that I would probably do for free. So that'll be nice. In May, Kimochi Con, that is coming up in May. I actually have a bunch of friends on the staff for that convention and I'm going to be helping Ace with the cosplay department. Just catch me backstage. I'll just be lurking backstage, you know. So that's in May. In July, gonna be working with Gimme More Cosplay again to do cosplay stuff. So look forward to that. And then wrapping up the year, December, we're doing it again. Anime Frontier, cosplay repair booth, cosplay contest, but, but the theme for 2024 is Ashwee's cosplay gets paid. So for Anime Frontier, I've actually been asked to come on as a contractor. So I'm going to get paid for helping with the contest as well as my duties as the repair booth manager. So lots in store, very excited. As you can see, we've stepped up the game a little bit. We got a fancy dancy little lapel mic. It's gonna be great. And the tech issues. And the tech, hmm. Let's try this again. And the tech issues from last year have been fixed. I got a brand new laptop. It's beautiful and it runs well and it's going to video edit again without crawling and making me want to pull my hair out so my hope for you is that i will have con vlogs for you this year they will include talking heads again with cool lapel mics i don't know will we interview people we might i don't know we'll give it a shot so anyway thank you so much for your patience thank you for sticking with me despite the dearth of videos for 2023. I'm really hoping to get back into it this year. I'm really looking forward to it and I hope to see you at a con. And if not, I'll see you in the next YouTube video. Bye. Am I recording now? Okay. <laughs> yeah, burp right into the lapel mic. Good job. I forgot how hard it is to do, to do these vlogs.